Google Gemini just released a bunch of new updates that are going to completely blow your mind because they just launched three brand new models that are way faster and way better than the old models that you're probably still using right now. And they launched four new AI agents that are 100% free that you could begin to use today in order to automate your work and certain tasks that you're currently doing manually. And by the end of this video, you're going to know about all these different changes and how to use them. So like I started this video off with, Gemini has released three brand new models, but they're not something that you're going to find in the regular Gemini interface. Instead, what you're going to have to do is come over to aistudio.google.com and then you'll be able to use these three new models. And I would strongly suggest that you do this because they're a lot more powerful. They're way quicker, they're way more accurate, and they have larger context windows in a lot of different cases. Now, the first one that you could do is you can come over here, click on this, and then click on Gemini right here, and you are going to see new next to these two models. So they have Gemini Flash Latest, and then they also have Gemini Flash Light Latest. And essentially what this allows you to do is this allows you to get access to way faster models than we've ever seen before. So let's click on a Gemini Flash Latest right here first, and then you'll be able to see all the things that you can actually do here. For example, you can add in system instructions right here. So you could change the tone and the style, which I would strongly suggest that you do. In addition to that, you can come over here and control the temperature. This allows you to control how much creativity it has in each of its responses. You can click on media resolution right here, and you can turn on things like thinking mode and even set a thinking budget if you only wanted to use so many tokens in order to actually think. In in addition to that, if you scroll down, you could ground this with Google search. So one thing that a lot of people say is, Rob, if you look at Gemini Flash Latest or Gemini Flash Light Latest, you'll see that the knowledge caught off is January 2025. But that doesn't actually matter if you come over here and make sure that grounding with Google search is turned on, because essentially what this allows the model to do is ground and check everything that it does by doing a Google search to see if it's up to date and accurate. In addition to that, you turn on URL context right here. This will allow Gemini to look at whatever URL you are actually passing along to it. Now, something that is incredibly powerful, and I would strongly suggest that all of you do, is coming up here to compare mode. I did that a little quick, so let me actually just go back real quick and I'll show you what this is. So, if you look at these two arrows right here, if you click on this, this opens up compare mode so we can compare Gemini Flash Latest to any other model. So, I'm going to compare Gemini Flash Latest to Gemini Flash Light Latest, and then we're going to give this a prompt and see which one of them actually does it quicker. And the prompt that we're going to give this is actually something that we would want a lot of speed and accuracy for. So essentially what I'm doing here is I am uploading this really long JSON file in here, and I am going to try to get this to go through and figure out which of these actually have certain keywords. As we can see right here, this is an incredibly long prompt, which is really going to show off how powerful these are. So once this is actually in here like this, we're going to click on run. And now we can compare these two models. And as you can see, this one right here is significantly quicker than this one right here. Even though this is flash, this is to going through and taking a pretty long time in order to actually get a response. Those were just the first two new models. In addition to that, if you come over to stream right here, you are going to notice that this right here is also a new model. In fact, they just released this new model and essentially what it does is gives you a way better experience when you're streaming with Google AI Studio. And you can use this to talk to Gemini, you could use this to share your webcam with Gemini, and you can also use this to share your screen. So basically, you customer support anywhere that you go. Now I know none of these three features are new, but the new part here is that this model up here is way better, is way more accurate, and is way more multimodal. Now, before I show you those free AI agents that they just launched for their tools like VO3 and Nano Banana to make them way more powerful, I wanted to remind you that if you're not an AI first individual right now, you're going to get left behind. It's the number one skill that big companies are looking for right now when they go to hire people. And if you run your own business, your customers are begging for you to have better AI solutions and systems because they know it's going to lead to a better service for them. Lucky for you, I found an easy way for you to stay ahead of the curve. Because Outskill, the world's first AI-focused education platform, is hosting a two-day AI mastermind workshop, which is happening this Saturday and this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern, 
both days. And over 10 million people across the globe have already attended this training, which has allowed them to both boost their careers by getting promotions and allow them to scale their businesses. And for some people, they even started businesses that are now bringing them in anywhere from four to $10,000 a month. And this training, which is rated 4.9 out of five on Trustpilot, usually costs $395, but for my audience, it's going to be completely free. Because I partnered with Outskill to give away over a thousand seats for this. If you go to the pinned comment below right now, you could get registered for it today, which I would strongly suggest that you do because their registration always fills up. Now, here are a few reasons that I would strongly urge you to sign up. First and foremost, this isn't just theory. It's a fully hands-on AI training from people that actually use this at companies like Microsoft, NVIDIA, and so many other big companies that you know. Secondly, in just two days, you're gonna learn 10 plus AI powered tools, AI in Excel, Sheets, and presentations, and how to build AI agents to automate your workflow, and so much more. In addition to that, you're also gonna get access to the learning dashboard where you're introduced to like-minded people to build with them and enhance your overall learning experience. And that's not all. You're also gonna walk away with more than $5,000 in bonuses. For example, you could get a prompt Bible, a roadmap to monetize AI, and a personalized AI toolkit builder if you attend both days. And both myself and my team are gonna be attending, which is why I'd strongly suggest that you attend too by going to the pinned comment below and registering right now. Remember, this is free, and please make sure you get into the WhatsApp group so you stay up to date on any updates that might come. Okay, now that first new tool that I wanna to talk about is gonna be Flow right here because this is a massive update to VO3 and it's free. We could also see that they released a bunch of new upgrades here. For example, custom prompt expander. They have image editing with nano banana inside of here. You can never lose track now with your favorites and they're getting rid of VO2. So if we come over here and click on get started, you will be able to see that when we click on new project right here, there are a bunch of new changes. So we could do a few things. Let's say text to video. I'm gonna say, make a girl running down a street in New York City, we could click on expand right here. And what this will actually do is go through and apply a preset to this prompt in order to actually make it better. So I'm gonna click on this right here, and then this goes through and actually builds us out a way better prompt. And I want you to think about this. This is a way better prompt than that little one that I just had here. And what this is going to result in is a way better video that we actually end up getting. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna have this actually create this. And we can see that this then goes through and creates this. Now, why this is a massive upgrade for VO3 is what you're gonna notice is that once this is done, we'll be able to build more things outside of this. And then what this allows us to do is build a long form video from a bunch of different clips that were AI generated with VO3. Now, in addition to that, I'm gonna open up a new window here just so that, I, so that I could show you more stuff in the meantime while that's actually loading. But if we click on new project right here, you can see that you can now search for clips over here. You can now check a bunch of clips over here, which is pretty awesome. You could click on this and you can change the aspect ratio now. So you could do things landscape or portrait. You could change the number of outputs that it actually makes per prompt. And you could change the model that's going to be used right here. And you could see that you could choose between VO3 fast or VO3 quality. And then we could see that VO2 is being phased out right here because it doesn't actually have audio. In addition to that, if we click over here, you could also create frames to video or ingredients to video if you're a Google AI subscriber. On this particular account that I'm on right now, because I wanted to show you the free version, I'm not, so I'm just showing you what you can do for free here. Now, if we come over here, we could see that we could favorite this, we could download this, we could expand this, we could add to this scene if we wanted to, or we could build the next scene that comes after this, but let's check this out. That's pretty crazy. That is movie quality right here. I probably would have made it like light out. I didn't necessarily want it to be dark out, but that is movie like quality from AI that we just generated in a few seconds for free. Now update number two is going to be Mixboard right here, which allows us to use Nano Banana in a way cooler way. So for example, I came over here the other day and I was trying to get inspiration 
for making different thumbnails around Ferrari and Porsche. If we come in here, we could see that I asked it to do this, and then what this did was went through and basically made me a Pinterest board of Ferrari versus Porsche stuff. And there's a lot of really cool things that we could do here. For example, let's say that I like this right here. We could zoom in. I really like this as a thumbnail. I can get this to regenerate this image. I could get this to make more images like this. I could get this to remove the background. I could get this to duplicate this, or I could get this to download an image. Now you can basically use this to give one prompt and then create several different pieces of footage. And there's so many crazy use cases that this actually brings up. For example, let's say you're having a party, you can actually generate ideas. Maybe you're making ads. You could generate now multiple of them. Maybe you're making thumbnails. You could generate multiple inspiration or maybe you're creating b-roll for a video about Halloween you could tell it that and it goes off and actually creates you a bunch of different images that you can then use in your content essentially what this allows you to do is very quickly create dozens if not hundreds of images with nano banana from a single prompt so that you don't have to go through and do each of these individually which would be incredibly slow brings me to the third new thing that Google recently launched, which is going to be videos. So now if you come into docs.google.com slash videos, you will be able to see that you can create videos out of anything. For example, you could turn a slideshow into a video. You could create a templated video. You could upload different media, for example, document, photos, anything that you want from your computer and it will actually create a video or you could use this to record yourself your screen or do both and again this is all 100 percent free so if we come over here into blank video you'll be able to see you could pretty much now turn anything into a video with google for free they give you templates over here you could add shapes text you could add stock footage you could add your uploads here from your drive and your photos you could change the script out here you could record straight from here and this is crazy because this just put a bunch of businesses at a business that offer things like this for you to be able to do them and what this allows you to do now is create way cooler things be way more creative and just be way more expressive with whatever you're doing inside of google docs google sheets google presentations and all of that jazz and then that final update that i have for you is you now have google gemini inside of chrome so if you pull up Chrome now, come to the top right hand corner and click on this, you're going to see that you now have Gemini everywhere that you go and you can talk to it, you could share your page with it. And if you wanna know what we could do with this, we can actually ask this right here, what can you do? So this will allow you to do a few things. Understand your web page. It can provide summaries, pull out key information or answer questions while you're browsing. It can also expand on topics or gather additional information from the web to add more context and detail to whatever you're viewing. This could be a YouTube video. This could be an article. This could be a newsletter. This could be you responding to somebody's email. And then it also can help you write. So this is like having a brainstorm partner right here when you're writing that can brainstorm ideas, can draft emails, can create social media posts, and so many things that you use. And then it tells you right here exactly how to use this. Just how many time you want to chat, just click the Gemini icon at the top right of your browser and you'll be able to talk to it right here, go live with it if you want to, or just share your current page. And one of my favorite things is that you're actually able to move this around and minimize it if you want to. In addition to that, if you click right here, you could change what model this is using. And if you click right here, you can actually change all the different settings in here. And I would strongly suggest that you go into these and make sure they're set up exactly how you want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through three other Gemini changes that you're not gonna believe. I'll see you over there.